Hello, I'm Bill Young. I'm a faculty member in the Computer Science Department at the University of Texas at Austin. Welcome to this series of lectures on foundations of computer security. If you've uh, been paying attention to the media at all, you probably know that uh, computer security is a really hot topic these days. There's a lot going on in the, in the world of computer security. A lot of attacks on websites, large corporations, um, and that's a little bit about what we're going to talk about over the course of these lectures. Let's see what we're going to cover. Well, of course, we're going to be asking the question, what is computer security? And most of the, most of the uh, series of lectures is going to be about that very topic. What is computer security and why is it important uh, to you as an individual and also to the world and to your uh, placement in the world? Um, another topic that we'd like to spend some time on is why is security difficult? Why uh, is security harder than most technological problems? And I'd like to make the argument to you that it actually is harder. It's more subtle than you might imagine. Um, when we get into some more of the technical issues, um, what does it mean to describe the security of a particular system? And we often do that in terms of a security policy. So how does one build a security policy? What does it mean to have a security policy? And uh, why is a security policy important? Um, then, as, as you might expect, much of what security is about is about the flow of information. For example, you don't want your information. If you sign into a website, you don't want your uh, credit card information to leak to somebody who shouldn't have that information. And so um, what does it mean to have information flow? What is the information content of a particular message? How can you control that? How can you um, increase the flow of information across a particular channel? Those are the kind of things which are dealt with in the theory of uh, information theory. And we'll delve into that a little bit, not very much. Um, following that, we'll talk about elementary cryptography. Cryptography is one of the key uh, components of computer security and one of the most important tools that people use to enhance the security of a system. So we won't delve very deeply into, into cryptography, but we will ask the question of what are the main types of cryptography and how are they used? What is it that they attempt to accomplish for you in a, in a security setting? Um, we'll talk a little bit about cryptographic protocols. When you send your information to Amazon.com or some other website, uh, that information gets sent across the internet, right? Well, how is that information protected? It's done in the context of a cryptographic protocol, which means an exchange of messages um, which use cryptography to protect the flow of that information. How does that happen? How do you know that a cryptographic protocol is operating correctly? And what does it mean even for it to operate correctly? And then finally, um, we'll spend some time talking about system certification. As if you as an individual or as an employee of a company uh, go to buy a secure system, how do you know that that system actually is secure? What does it mean to say that it's secure? How do you have any assurance that it's secure? Well, one way in which that's done is uh, through a certification process, often called the common criteria, through which uh, uh, websites and other security products are evaluated. And we'll look a little bit at that as we go along. 